Today is Sunday and we're back in the studio. We spend a lot of days in the studio at D-A-Z-E. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the studio. I came in yesterday. I don't normally kind of come in on a Saturday. But it's been really cold and wintry and I could stay home and Jim and I could look at each other or I could go to work. I came into work and I got those bowls trimmed up that we showed in the last uh, blog. I got the vase built. It's a di little bit different shape than the customer ordered but I like it better than what the customer ordered. We'll see if he likes that one or the original shape. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to move these pots. Well, first of all, I have to take the stuff off the drying shelf over to there and the stuff under there in the drying shelf. You're starting to see a pattern here. Uh, a week ago, Jim and I got partially loaded. We're going to finish getting loaded today. But the main focus of work today isn't going to be studio work, but it's going to be casseroles under here. A little casserole just waiting patiently for his handles and I'll, I'll talk about that in the video somewhere else but also when we were doing our blog we had these platters here and I talked about its pagoda ends and it is kind of messy on the sides and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to tidy that up this is just a plaster rasp and I'm going to rasp those edges off now, if you were smart, you'd do this over a garbage can, but apply a joke here. But notice how it's not level there, but after rubbing this over, it is. And you can round them until they're gentle. So you get the idea, and I don't like that edge there. I'm going to round it so it's a gentle edge. And after I've gone all the way around, I'm just going to take a sponge and make it tidy. And if I had rasped all the edges, you can see it goes from a messy pagoda edge tray to one that's very tidy. Anyway, I'm going to finish off my tray. I've got this one and another one. I'm going to move this stuff over there and that stuff over there and that stuff into the kiln. And then we're going to shoot video. And after all that's done, it's going to be a day. 